Time is 808. Let's turn now to meteorologist Jeff Ordron. Let us know uh, what the forecast holds as far as most, more snow up on the mountain. Decent amount of snow yeah. coming into the mountains. I think about 5 to 10 inches. That is a decent amount. Yeah, around our ski resorts. And obviously we're tracking some light snow at this time. And I think the snow will steadily pick up here over the next hour or so as that band of showers works its way in. I, I love this view and I'm going to continue to take it throughout the morning. 30 degrees down the slope at government camp. Uh, so that snow level has risen just a tad. It's getting closer to 3000 feet, but it is below the mountain passes. Here's another look outside from our Riverview Community Bank camera. We're definitely looking at a wet Tillicum crossing now. 42 degrees at PDX with an east southeast wind at 15 miles per hour. So a breezy and wet morning. We're tracking those showers now working their way through the metropolitan area. Those uh, darker green and yellow shades. Those indicate more moderate showers. Uh, so we've seen the rain steadily pick up and that will be translating over to more snow up into the Cascades indicated by those white shades. The showers are starting to turn more scattered as a cold front crashes into the coast. Uh, so we'll deal with scattered showers on and off through the rest of the morning and into the afternoon out along the coast. Even in heading into tonight, we'll see some shower activity. Now I want to zoom on out. I want to switch it over to the satellite picture. You can see uh, some more breaks in the clouds offshore. That's behind the cold front. So some drier air, some unstable air, but I want to zoom even farther out. There's quite a bit of moisture that's approaching the Pacific Northwest. That's going to bring moderate to heavy rain to extreme Northwest Oregon and Western Washington as we head through the overnight hours tonight and tomorrow morning. And that's why the National Weather Service will be issuing a winter storm warning for the southern Washington Cascades because they're going to be getting nailed up there with precipitation and same goes for the coast range. The farther south you go, the less precipitation you're going to see tonight heading into our Monday. Temperatures though are still in the low to mid 40s in the valleys, mid to upper 40s out along the coast. We're at 30 at Government Camp and east of the Cascades. We're seeing a mixed bag of the 20s and 30s. Uh, Legrand is up to 33 degrees, and I bring that up because we're probably going to see a bit of a wintry mix out there. But as long as temperatures are above freezing, it's going to be tough for any snow showers to stick to the ground. Here's a look at the forecast. Expect a pretty steady rain over the next hour or two. That's going to turn into more scattered showers as we head through the afternoon and evening hours. But we will continue to see the snow pile up along the Cascades again, expecting about 5 to 10 inches of snow uh, through this evening up at our local ski resorts. But we'll see light snow overnight, and then the snow picks up tomorrow morning. Notice it's mostly affecting western Washington and extreme northwest Oregon, the showers and the snow showers. We'll still see some snow down into the Oregon Cascades, but the main focus is going to be the farther north you go. And again, that's why the National Weather Service issued a winter storm warning tonight heading into tomorrow for the southern Washington Cascades. I think the rainfall totals, though, are going to be pretty impressive as we head into the early part of the work week out along the coast range. So we'll have to watch for localized flooding. But right now, it doesn't look like any major rivers are going to have any big issues. So temperatures will slowly rise as we head into the early part of the work week. That brings the snow levels slightly above the mountain passes as we head into about Tuesday or so. But we're going to be dealing with on and off showers for the next week or so, which is Fantastic news. We need the rain. We certainly need the mountain snow, and there's a lot of that coming, uh, but we won't see much movement in temperatures. High should be in the 40s for the most part, with overnight lows in the mid to upper 30s and low 40s down in the valleys. 